Hey everyone! Right now we're going to show you how to use App Magic tools for evaluating the attractiveness of a market segment. First of all, let's go to Top Charts. As you may have guessed, here we display the most successful titles. But what makes App Magic services stand out against our competitors is that each performance notable app has a set of genre, subgenre, setting, and art style markers. We call these markers tags. For example, Gardenscapes is a match three puzzle game with a design component and a real life setting. And its art style is characterized as 3D with a normal level of detail and stylized as a cartoon. A click on any of these tags will take you straight to the top charts of apps of this type of tag. We have manually classified over 80,000 apps by genre, subgenre, setting and art style. And day by day, this number keeps growing. Alternatively, you can narrow the segment simply by picking a tag in the selector. Let's say Arcade. Since this niche is very diverse, I will choose the Idle Battler subgenre to focus the results. You can customize other settings for your research. For example, select any particular date, week or month. I will choose the last option to get a bigger picture. Now all top performing Idol Battler games for September 2020 are displayed right here. There is another powerful tool to enhance your market knowledge, the App Comparison Dashboard. You can create it by clicking on the titles. You need to decide whether either top free or top grossing titles are more relevant to your interest. Depending on it, you'll explore apps with different revenue models, ad revenue or in-app revenue. As you see, now I'm selecting all top grossing games. It is a good point to pick apps both at the top and at the bottom of rankings. That way, your research will cover titles that are successful right now, as well as those that used to be market leaders but lost their positions. By the way, it's possible to pick up to 100 titles, so we invite you to get the most of this feature in order to have a more realistic picture of how the market composition has been changing. Let's switch to the stacked area to have a more clear view. The dashboard shows the level of competition, average life cycle, as well as market leaders and successful launches. By default, you see aggregate data for both stores, Apple App Store and Google Play Store in all the countries we process. But of course, you can specify the store and country to precisely address your research needs. Use the dashboard to compare the app's metrics. Now the graph displays the dynamics of monthly revenue shares for each app. You can change it and choose the metric of your interest. The table below shows app's metrics, by default lifetime ones, that is to say from their very launch or from the 1st of January 2015. Click here if you want to see figures for any other time period. You can also sort the table by any metric. One click and now the apps are ranked by their downloads. Using specific tags and dashboards will help you analyze whether the niche is attractive for investment. In our case, we see that the segment has been monopolized by TapTap -tap heroes within the last two years. But recently, the niche has become more diversified. Pay attention to new titles that entered the top charts right after their release. Thus, you can conclude whether the segment is friendly for newcomers. With App Magic, it's possible to explore the specific segment in just a couple of clicks. That's why we actually call it magic.